They'll just walk out on the end, hit the sensor, and drop in the bucket. And then the trap will reset itself. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out an automatic walk the plank style trap specifically designed for catching rats. Hopefully we catch a lot of rats in the barn with this. Now this trap probably looks familiar. I've already featured several smaller versions of this for catching mice, and man does it work well. The mice go out on the plank and drop in the bucket. One after another, all night long we catch mice. And after seeing that video, enough YouTube viewers reached out to the inventor and requested that he build a larger version for rats. And that's what he's done here. This is actually the second prototype. The first one he sent me had some problems. First of all, the plank was longer and the dog down here wasn't reinforced. So when our pet rat went out there, it broke off the piece and the trap stopped working. But this newer design has a much beefier dog. There's no way that's snapping off. Also, when my pet rat was out here, it peed and the moisture went on the sensor and caused it to stop working. So the inventor was able to make the sensor waterproof here and now it works perfectly. Now I really wanna test it out. This is the second time my pet rat's been on here, but we're gonna see if we can fool him. So let's go set up our trap on the bucket and see what happens. The trap fits on the edge of a five gallon bucket that's very secure. When the rat goes out there and hits the sensor, it drops down. Now I don't want our pet rat to get hurt, so I'm gonna give it a soft landing. Okay, it's time to walk the plank. He's probably thinking, I've seen this before, not again. And he's pooping. Why do they always poop every time I put him on a trap? Hey, that just dropped down. Let's see if we can do it again with the sensor. Gross. Walk the plank rat trap, take two. Man, that worked perfectly, but will it catch the wild rats in the barn? I don't want to catch them alive, so I'm going to fill the bucket with water, set up the trap with the motion cameras, and see what happens. Good job.
Well, last night we set up our walk the plank style rat trap in the barn and the rats did show up. They started to check it out, they went up the ramp, but before they fully committed and walked out on the plank, a skunk showed up. That skunk really wanted the peanut butter and tried to climb on our trap. It got its smell all over. And after that, the rats didn't want to have anything to do with this trap. It smelled like a predator and they were out of there. That didn't stop a mouse. It went on the sensor and got dunked. We have one floater. So clearly the trap works for mice, but can it handle the weight of a rat? I'm going to have to try a new location. Now there's another spot that has a problem with pack rats. Those are a native species. So I'm going to dump out the water, turn it into a live catch trap and see if we can catch a pack rat. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, last night it was pack rat versus walk the plank trap and I learned a lot about how this trap works. First of all, I was curious if the plank could handle the weight of a large rat and after seeing last night, that's not a problem. This trap is built strong and stout and it can handle a large rat even walking out to the end. The second question is, I wanted to make sure the sensor would still work even with peanut butter and rat pee on it and it still works. That seems to be fixed. Now I also had a question about if you could make this a live catch trap. And the answer is not really. This bucket is 18 inches tall and the rat had no problem jumping out. It really needs to be a kill trap with water. Also, this trap is large, but it works great for mice. So if you're looking for a walk the plank trap with an automatic sensor that will catch mice, but also is big enough to catch rats, it's a good option. Now, even though our pack rat escaped, we did catch one mouse and I fed that to a barn owl. This new pair of barn owls is up in the rafters. I think they're gonna nest and they really like mice, so we'll feature those in future videos. But overall, I'm really impressed with how it performed. It didn't catch a skunk, but it did dunk a rat. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. I also love seeing pictures of people's pets watching Mousetrap Mondays. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. And stay tuned for next Monday, we're doing another on location video where there's a rat in a restaurant. So if you want to see how we catch very smart urban rats, watch on Monday. And if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.